So that's the, the six. And then um, Climate <coughs> Bay Area is our, our project that we've uh, embarked on. And that's why I guess you asked me to come here tonight and talk. But so, you, you know, the ABAG PGME financing program is also very interesting to us as well. Great. So we're not Great, good. Well, uh, let me just outline Climate Bay Area and, and why we're doing it and, and who's going to do it and, and then get into a back and forth because we're, we're just shaping this thing at this point. And I, it's a perfect time to be talking with all of you and we can test out some of our ideas and we can hear back from you. And I, I'm here to talk about some things, but I'm here to learn as well as to, as to what might work. Again, our job as regional agencies is usually um, uh, it, it needs some definition in terms of what exactly is it that we could do best that would help cities and counties, private sector, NGOs, and all to move forward. So Climate Bay Area, um, the why is, uh, as you know, there are hundreds now, it's probably in the thousands of, of climate projects or climate related <coughs> projects, uh, plans, programs, uh, initiatives in, in the region. But it's pretty clear that we're not moving at the speed uh, and scale that we need to. And it's great. It's wonderful to see versus what was going on three years ago, uh, or certainly five years ago, uh, or even a year ago. I mean, we, get, we find new groups every week these days, and new cities that are taking this on, and new counties that are taking it on. Um, but if we're not moving at the speed and scale. Uh, as you know, I'm sure I'm not telling you anything you don't know already there. But we think there are maybe four reasons for that. And first is, too many groups are working in isolation. Uh, there's a lot of overlap going on. There's a lot of duplication going on. Inefficiency uh, there. You know, it is the, the, the modern world. Uh, maybe we have lots of, lots of points. We don't want to centrally run all of these things. But we want to do, we think, some coordination, because we think we can eliminate some of the duplication and improve the efficiencies um, if we work on that. So isolation is one. Uh, two is, I think the roles are poorly defined um, at the government level. The role of the state, the role of the regional agencies, the role of the local governments is, I, I think, very uh, hazy. And, you know, we have AB 32, which, you know, lays out a state plan, but only really takes the, the, a piece of that, and that's what SB 375 did, take a piece of that and say, we want the regions or the locals to work on this. The rest of it, is, if, if you look through it, it's, you know, there's language like, we encourage cities to do a 20% reduction. You know, it's, it's not very well defined in the plan, in our only plan, which is that, that state plan, and with the state goal. So we think the roles could be much more clearly defined for both local uh, governments and for the regional agencies, and we need to do that with the state. We think that would be helpful. Three, um, there's just a lack of understanding as to what are the strategies that will really move the needle. You know, there's a lot of action now, and a lot of people saying my strategy is best and this and that, but there's not a there's certainly not agreement, and I think there's a lack of understanding uh, as to the relative um, impacts that you can get from, from, from various strategies that we're looking at. Uh, and fourth, there's certainly not agreement on how much we have to do here in the region and how fast. Um, again, AB 32 gives us a, a target at the state level, um, but that's one target, and that's for 2020. Um, a number of the cities uh, around the region, about 25 now, have set their own targets uh, to move forward. Uh, they've set different targets. So we don't think there's enough common agreement yet, especially when you talk to elected officials. And we start talking about this strategy or that strategy or the importance of, of moving quickly on this or on that. And we're, we haven't done the homework yet to get people in, in enough agreement as to how fast we have to move and how much we have. So those, for those four reasons, we're forming this, um, uh, we're calling it a meeting place, a forum for, for the region uh, called Climate Bay Area that will try to provide some coordination and assistance to all the different groups, public and private, that are, that are uh, working uh, on this. And we're going to do two things to start. One is um, we're doing a scan in each county. And I just started last week, so I did Sonoma to start, which was a fun one to start with because there was quite a bit going on there. Um, a scan of what are the key projects in each county. 
not a complete list because that would be, it'd be like paying the Golden Gate Bridge, get done with the list, you can be back to the beginning. But what are the key ones that, that would be helpful for other counties to see? You know, if Sonoma's doing X, you know, let's pick the ones that would really be interesting to look at elsewhere. Uh, and there are a number of there, as are, I'm sure there are in every county. So one is picking out those very best projects that could be replicated elsewhere and getting that information out. And, and with that, in those scans, we're also asking what are the top barriers in, in, in each of the counties that you're facing and what are the top opportunities. And trying to identify again where a regional approach might make sense. You know, often not. It's, it, it can be handled at the local level, but there are things that every city and county are running into. Why should we ask every city and county to do it by themselves? You know, why? Let's find those things together that would make more sense to work on together. So we're going to do some coordination around that. We're also then going to, that's going to be kind of the easy part is that part, you know, the coordination and showing people that three of them are, three different cities are doing X. Why don't you talk to each other and get to, you know, that kind of thing. Um, the other part that's going to be more difficult, but uh, greater payoff maybe, is to identify with a group, and the group will include representatives from each of the counties, from, from different sectors, from business and nonprofits and EJ groups and all of that, to identify what are two or three things that in the next year we really ought to have to work on together that, that, that will really help all of us move forward. So we have some ideas about that, but that's going to be a group process. And we have a working group of about 25, but it's, that's just going to be the kind of official representatives of each county and of each uh, uh, sector. We're going to invite uh, all who are interested. It's going to be a fairly large group, but we're going to work through a process to identify, just to start, let's do two or three things, or let's take them on. And Joint Policy Committee is doing this, uh, we formed this in conjunction with the Bay Area Council's Economic Institute. So Bay Area Council is a business group, Bay Area Council Economic Institute is a, um, a related organization that they are funding whose board is business, academic, uh, nonprofits, uh, government, you know, it's, it's kind of across the board. So. Bay Area Council Economic Institute and Joint Policy Committee are forming Client Bay Area. We're going to fund it together and staff it and, and, and take it forward. Um, maybe I should stop there and, and do this as a back and forth. I mean, I've identified, that's, that's what we're aiming to do. Um, I've identified a bit of what we think the four problems are that we're getting at. Um, how does this, you know, let's, let's have a back and forth now and I can tell you more as we go. Maybe. How's that? Does that sound good, Dave? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, good. I have a question. What yeah. forum are you going to use to get the feedback from all of the cities? Is there going to be an online forum? Is it going to be a larger workshop? We're starting with a, a couple of meetings in each county. So we're just starting to set those up. So we'll find, and I, I could use some help, obviously, here. I mean, I know more of the government people, so, you know, that kind of thing in each of the county. But we're going to work through people that we're identifying in each county to set up, you know, probably in Alameda County, maybe two or three meetings, you know, over the next six to eight weeks, in which we would go through and look at, you know, okay, what are the best projects that are going on that could be replicated elsewhere, the very best projects, and what are the key barriers and opportunities that we could work on? Yeah. What kind of enforcement do you have? Let's like say a bank, for example, do they have their own regional greenhouse gas emission uh, reduction targets? No. Okay, so yeah, we, we have, we've adopted, the four agencies have adopted the state, <coughs> the state targets as, as and our, our program says we will meet or exceed AB 32 targets. So, but we have no enforcement mechanism for that uh, at this point. It's, a, it's an interesting question because when you look at, at the four agencies, um, they don't have a lot of the authority that you would want someone to have. <laughs> I mean, this is a common story in, the, in this climate world. 